Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm very excited to share what I have prepped for this video. Um, I just received this from Nagi Cosmetics. Just a little bit background on uh, this brand. So I actually came across this brand on Instagram as one of my ad as one of the ads as I was as I was scrolling through um, the stories like the, like the people I follow. In between that, I had an ad featuring this brand and I decided to go ahead and see what they have and I loved their Instagram feed page. You see all this beautiful um, products featuring beautiful women uh, and just a little bit about this brand. I'm just going on their website to see what they have here. So, Nagi Cosmetics was created by a woman with a burning desire to promote all colors of beauty. Their mission is to help you showcase your beauty. We love ourselves and we all love our attributes, therefore we celebrate who we are. We believe that all shades of black are beautiful. We want to put you in value. This is what really caught my eye because um, when I was a beauty advisor back in uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, a lot of the things that I noticed was that many brands did not carry you know, a wide range of darker shades. Uh, our mission is to promote all colors of beauty. That's why we created a range of makeup that initially meets the needs of women of color. Very, very key. So that they have a range of products respecting their skin and pigmentation while offering products to women of other origins. Our products are carefully selected to meet the expectations of our target customers. We therefore offer products rich in pigments and high qualities. This brand is located in Quebec, specifically Montreal. Um, so they decided to strategically expand their products in certain key territories to meet these specific needs and to fill this gap. I love what they stand for. Uh, I'm gonna open up my products that I've ordered. I don't really remember what I ordered, but uh, but I did. When did I order this? Let me check. I made my order on June 10th, and it shipped on June 12th, and I received it today, which is June 23rd. So it took about two weeks, and I received it and I shall open it and see what I have. Um, it seems, okay, so I'm going through my order. It was a total of $74.58, 74, about 75 Canadian dollars. Uh, shipping was free. I think if you order above like 60, 65 dollars, you get free shipping. I ordered three products and I have them all in here. So let me open it and I'll show you what I have. I ordered an eyeshadow, a lipstick, and a foundation. So let's see what we have here. It's this box it has a hole that says what I want kind of with the shade. It doesn't have a brand thing on it. Interesting. Okay, this is the foundation. Then I have the lipstick. This also doesn't have the branding on it. Hmm. First time I'm seeing anything like this without the branding or the logo on the box and this is the eyeshadow. So let's start with these. Let's start. Okay, first I'm just gonna uh, do my skincare real quick. Alright, so I'm quickly just going to do my brows and prime my lids so I can test out the eyeshadow. Be right back after I do that. Alright, so I've got my brows on and I've concealed. I did not prime my lids, which I shall do right now. Alright, so I've set my lids. I've set my lids and and we're gonna see how the the Maggie Cosmetics eyeshadow wears. So the one that I have here, 
This is the shade. I don't know. But I shall. Let me open it and see. So. Okay. The branding is on the actual product. Not on the box, but on the product. They do have the branding on that. Um, it's a cute case. Does it really have. Oh, it's a. Yeah, so it's a twist hot type of eyeshadow. So this is the shade I decided to get. So I'm going to use this with a blending brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the product. I'm gonna pick it up with my finger. I think it is pretty. It is pretty pigmented, but it's not showing up on camera as well. But I can definitely see it in my mirror. So let me just take some of that product onto my finger. because it seems like it's a little hard to blend but a really great thing about this so far what I've realized is there's no fallout like there's absolutely no fallout it's very it was a very creamy formula no fallout pretty easy to work with even though I had a hard time picking it up with the brush but it's really easy to blend out with the brush gonna put on my lashes, add some liner, and then we'll move on to the foundation. Okay, so I have my mascara on, my liner on. Now we're gonna move on quickly to the foundation. So this is the foundation. Um, also, I forgot to mention what shape this was for the eyeshadow. Let me just look back at my order. This was the shade 279TO. Oh, it does say it on the back, but I it, I didn't think that was the shade. That was the name of the shade. Um, so yeah, so this is 279TO. And the foundation I got is the face foundation. And it looks like this. I think I got a shade too, a little, I think this shade might be a little too dark for me. I may have to mix it up, mix it with my other foundation, but I'll just wear this as is just to see how it actually, how the consistency in the formula is. So this is called the Feather Finish Foundation, and this is in the shade C85 Warm Yellow. The reason why I got this one is because I read the shade yellow and I know how to yellow undertones and it's so hard for me to find something that's yellow undertone and is the same shade as my skin so there was either this one or one that was a, sh that was a shade lighter but online it seemed a bit too light like as if it would kind of get me ashy and I'd rather have something dark because darker because um, I could always mix it with a foundation that I already have if anything because I do tend to end up getting foundations that seem a little bit lighter or more warm toned so let's see oh it's a nice pump honestly the packaging is really pretty i like the foundation packaging very much um it's really nice to see a clean simplistic look 
on a foundation like this. So let's let's try this out. I'll put some onto my hand. I'll just put pop some onto my hand. Okay, so I think this is supposed to give it a more natural coverage type of finish. I'm gonna do one, two, and I drop in my forehead and see what happens. For some reason, it didn't actually blend out a lot. I think I'll like I need a bit more. I'm gonna actually take some onto my the back of my hand this because I need it to really cover. But it's definitely a more natural finish. It's like that natural barely barely even there type of foundation okay so on camera i think it looks decent but i look I seem to look very orange in person. Yeah, this is definitely giving me a more of an orange tint. It's very, um, it's very light. It's very, I feel like I'm not even wearing foundation. It's like, it's that, it's that nice. Um, I'm just kind of disappointed with the shade that's that's usually what tends to happen like it's too yellow it's literally like an orange tone for me or, but that's okay I still liked how it kind of um, how it applied it was very very nice and smooth very breathable that's the word very breathable oh for someone well the shade that I have anyone who is a bit more yellow with hints of red tone in their skin, this would probably be a better shade for them. But I'm just gonna put some concealer on to brighten up under my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna contour simply because the shade is a little bit darker than what I wear so it's kind of already like a contour finish the another thing that i really like about this foundation it's very gives it a very flawless smooth finish so that's a key that's really important if you like it's not completely fake looking but very still natural it's still like a natural finished but with the glow be using the becca champagne pop highlighter okay so for the lips i had ordered the shade 512 Stormy High Gloss Lipsticks. So. This is it. 
Love the packaging again. Ooh, that is so smooth. Oh, and the shade looks like this. I decided to just cover my top Cupid's bow thing because I don't know. Um, honestly, this is a really pretty shade, but I don't think the camera's giving it any justice. It's it's so pretty. I don't know. I think this is probably my favorite out of the three products that I got. The lipstick, I love. Oh, lip gloss. It's kind of like more of a lip gloss than a lipstick. Alright, so my final thoughts on the brand and its products. Uh, let's start off with the eyeshadow. I really like this. It's very, very pretty, the eyeshadow color. It's not so visible on camera, I don't think. But... It's a very pretty shade because I, I think what happens is after I put the lipstick on, it really did complement the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow is not too intense. Even though it looks very dark, it's really not that dark. Unless, of course, you want to build on it. Um, but it's a very nice formula. Very, very creamy. And there's no fallout. Like, absolutely no fallout, which was surprising for me because even very expensive eyeshadow or very expensive brands that have eyeshadow palettes, they have fallout. Um, even the ones that sh like shouldn't really have much of a fallout, even those tend to have some fallout. Which was great, like there was nothing around my eyelids when I put this on. Um, the only downfall for th the only thing that I didn't like about this was that it was really hard to blend, or to it was really hard to pick up the product and get the pigmentation out of it with a brush. It was a lot easier getting that pigment with my finger. But blending it out with a brush later on was absolutely easy for easy to do. So this I actually really did, did like, um, especially after I after I put the lipstick on because I feel like it really really enhanced the entire look. Um, next is the foundation. I don't think I got the right shade, but it doesn't seem to look too bad anymore on camera. It is still a bit more orange tone than I would like. Um, I don't know if you can tell that it's a bit more orange, but the consistency is beautiful. It's very, very silky. Gives you a very flawless finish, but light coverage. And for someone who, for, it's it's great for anyone who would rather have a more natural daily makeup look or anything like that. Very nice uh, foundation. Um, just the shade I think was my biggest um, or my only concern. Um, oh, and it was a bit hard to uh, blend, so I felt like I needed more. So what I did in the beginning where I just kind of put the foundation dropping onto my face um, from the from the bottle itself, that didn't seem to help as well as when I pumped it onto the back of my hand and I dotted my face with the foundation. That, I felt like, because I was able to um, dot it in different areas, I was able to blend it out better. This was my favorite product out of the three so definitely loved their lipstick but i'm very happy with the shade i got it's very very pretty um i think even if i use this on top of like any other like shade of lipstick it would really really make it pop the only other thing i want to test is the transfer so here it goes because i'm wearing white I 
I mean, it's a gloss, so I shouldn't really complain. And with my lips, everything transfers for some reason. I just took off like half my lips lip gloss. But I still really love the finish it gives. It makes my lips look a lot more like moisturized and healthier. And that's great because my lips have been pretty dry recently. Um, I should be putting the bum on, but your girl is lazy. Anywho, um, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, it was a, it was my first review type of video, but I really did want to share this amazing brand. It's woman owned. Um, it's black owned. For my fellow Canadians, it's local. Um, it's in, it's located in Montreal, and it's a Canadian-owned business, so it's really nice to support our uh, locals. And the other thing about it was, uh, it was cruelty-free. Not that they stated it on their packaging or anything, but they do have it on their website that they do not test on animals. So um, I'll give them that. And yeah, I feel like this brand. Honestly, they have a lot of selection. I really did want to try their eyeliner and their mascara, but I was gonna leave, leave that for like the next time I order from them. So I will grab, uh, get my hands on the liner because I love playing around with different uh, brands of liner. Different brands of liner, that makes sense. Uh, they also have some skincare products, which I wanted to kind of uh, try out as well. They have a botanical cleansing lotion. They have a hydrating mango face cream, which is what I wanted to try because I I read mango and then I was like, you sold me there. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I'm just really happy to share what they have to offer. My screen is so nasty. So I decided to give this another try and I'm wearing the Nagy Cosmetics foundation but I mixed it in with my L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear foundation simply because uh, it was actually way too orange especially in the daylight you could see that it was much more visible but I can tell you that texture was really really amazing it's just the only one the only one thing was that uh, the, the only thing was that um, the color was off but for the eyeshadow this time around instead of putting it on my entire lid um i put it only in the crease and i'm actually loving it and i wasn't kidding about the no fallout again this time around no fallout i loved it i love the formula it's so creamy definitely recommend i do want to get some more eyeshadows from them the lipstick so the, the, my favorite product here um when i wore it alone you could literally see through my lips because my lips were really really dry and un not moisturized but this time i put a another lipstick underneath i put the morphe some sort of morphe lipstick uh this lipstick i put on first and then after i put on the naggy lipstick naggy cosmetics lipstick and honestly i love it i love it so much like it just adds the slightest bit of sheen to it and it just makes like the lip color that i already had which was super super matte very very pretty and luscious love it so that's it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed my video and my review on this brand. It's amazing in terms of um, what they go for and the quality. Honestly, it actually is very, very um, good quality. 